Hey guys, it is Saturday, the 27th, July. 2024 here in Leon, Nicaragua. Uh, so uh, today is Saturday. Um, we got a couple things we had to do today. One is Betty has been sick, so we finally managed uh, to get her and go, and we filmed some of this, ran her to the vet to see Dr. Jorge, uh, and they did tests and stuff. So we won't hear probably until at least tomorrow, maybe Monday, because tomorrow Sunday, um, as to what's going on with her. But this is the one day that she and everyone is here, so we are able to take her um, and uh, and find out. Um, how she's doing, uh, but she's lost a lot of weight and she seems to be acting okay. There was some time that she wasn't eating and not, not pooping that she has started doing. So everything's working. We think she may have eaten some plastic, but we're running some tests and finding out if there's anything going on, if she has an infection or anything, we're gonna find out, but she's acting okay. So we're just mostly being precautionary, but it's Nicaragua. If you have pets here, you do got to watch out ticks, worms, all that kind of stuff. You got to be careful. You got to be on top of it. So just be diligent. And you know what? We're going to do a video at some point with Dr. Jorge and let him get on here and talk about uh, preventative care in of pets here in Nicaragua. I think that'd be really good. Uh, so heartworm, that's a really big thing. You must be diligent about heartworm. Every dog here that doesn't have good uh, heart dewormer is going to get heartworm and heartworm is a killer. It will kill every dog every time. So don't ever think about having a dog without a heartworm uh, treatment. Um, the uh, 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 we did that, and then once the dog was done, I did a little bit of work for a little while, and then in the mid afternoon, we went out to go to the Ruben Dario festival, which is called Azul Dario. And I love this event. Um, it's a little bit quirky. It's not like super exciting, but I love that they do it. And they take Central Park and they turn the whole thing into a series of events. So they have stuff throughout the day, parades, uh, uh, plays, bands, uh, shows, competitions, dance competitions, all kinds of little things all throughout the day. So all kinds of different groups and people come in from around the Departmento, maybe around the country, but I think mostly the Departmento to participate in this. And they have a strip where they do these uh, and they do it every year. They set up these stalls in each little community municipality around uh, the Departmento of Leon uh, puts up these little displays and that's kind of cool so I go and film that we filmed today right so I filmed two different things today and um, went and did uh, there's a there's an art exhibit that's always there and there's a couple of different plays that they put on so you can see actors performing because Ruben Dario is a writer much like William Shakespeare and so you can see his stuff being acted out uh, at different times um, there's a lot of people just selling things so it's like any event like this you're gonna have the craft people out there's a little bit of people selling food but it's very minimal way less than there should be I think there should be at least three to four times as many food stalls as there is that's my number one complaint is that that portion of the activity, which should be go and explore lots of food and just have a fun time with that, is kind of missing. Now, they did have two things worth noting. One was pupusas, which I got to go and were pretty good. Um, and the other is they had rondon, which is also known as rundown. It is a Jamaican fish stew kind of thing with a lot of rice. It's a, it, it is a stew, but it's very light on the stew and heavy on the rice. So it's very popular on the east coast of Nicaragua. There's about five or six countries where rondon is a, an official or like a, an important cultural food item, culinary item. And Nicaragua is one of those, along with like Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, Jamaica, of course, and Tobago. Uh, and so those countries have their own take on it. And this is my first time ever having it, but I've, I'm aware of it. So it's cool that they had a rondon stand. Uh, Marcella had never had it either. So we filmed that. She had never heard of breadfruit, which is a, which I find surprising because I've seen it like just in the last week, I've seen breadfruit floating down through the gutters. Like there's so much breadfruit. We see it out on the beach, it grows everywhere, but we don't really eat much of it here in Western Nicaragua. It's part of the, the diet of Eastern Nicaragua. And breadfruit is funny because it really does have kind of a bready potato feel, but it's a fruit. And it's not bad, like I got to try it. So it's a uh, yuca and breadfruit and banana that somehow turns gray and a whole fish, which is very hard to eat. And it's got scales, head, everything. Like you're like, oh, this is this is very not something Americans eat. But the taste was very good. The stew was good. So I got it. I took a picture. Dominica said, yeah, she wanted that. So we brought that back for her. Um, I did a little bit of shopping. There's a new Chinese store. Uh, that's literally what they're called here. Uh, downtown called Tesco. It's Tesco Chinese store. And it's owned by Chinese, run by Chinese. Like every single product is from China. When they say Chinese store here, they mean it. In a lot of the world, Chinese store means 
uh, like a five and dime uh, because it's products from China. And so they're very inexpensive that the, the everything is made in China phenomenon happened at the same time that much of the world got the equivalent of five and dimes or dollar stores. Uh, and so in much of the, like Europe, if you're in like Greece, I remember we'd always go to the China store. It was just the dollar store. But here it literally means everything's from China and it's owned out of China. Like they're Chinese businesses that pop in super Chinese. It's it's a little bit funny, uh, but you can get some interesting products there like ramen that you can only get in China and at the China store. So it's interesting. We popped in the this one next to the McDonald's, I would have to say was lackluster at best. There was nothing that we were interested in except some of the ramen, um, but they did have a large selection of umbrellas, uh, <laughs> but uh, we did that. Um, so we had a cool time doing the festival, but, but you know, it's a very chill thing. So I'd say like an hour is kind of the max that you would put into it. And if I wasn't filming, probably a little bit less. There's not a lot to do, but it's cool. Now, if you speak Spanish, you can go like watch a concert. You're going to watch one of the plays. It's going to be a lot more interesting. Um, or if you have kids who just want to get involved in something, but it is a cool time to go out and do a little bit of shopping, just do something different, reason to get out. And they have events all throughout the day. Uh, so that was uh, that was our big activity this afternoon. This evening, we decided that going out was just not something we wanted to do. Everybody's tired. The dog is sick. And uh, we need some time to recover from all the things we've had going on. So we did have stuff during the day. But the stuff this evening, originally there was going to be a party tonight. And we were all like, oh, please no. But it ended up being canceled. So we didn't have that to go to. Um, and, uh, and tomorrow should be a pretty light day. So that was our Saturday here in Nicaragua. I'll see all of you guys tomorrow.